Spoiler warning ahead. If you aren't caught up with One Piece or Jujutsu Kaisen, then click off and get caught up. If you choose to stay here, it is not my fault for anything being spoiled for you. Viewer discretion is advised. In the animated world, logic always seems to take a back seat. And on top of that, the hair always finds a way to defy the laws of gravity. In most anime, we wouldn't really even have a story if it weren't for those special characters that push our protagonists, like Jiraiya from Naruto, or Master Roshi from Dragon Ball. But what sets Shanks and Gojo apart is their morality that will eventually shape the world because they pass on their ideals to their pupils. Navigate through One Piece's endless seas where treasure is abundant and dental hygiene is... <laughs> optional. Here, Shanks rules the waves without ever letting his drink spill. We see Shanks prep this world for a new beginning and high expectations for the next generation. With Satoru Gojo, things are a little different. Gojo is the strongest, and has no worries other than the Jujutsu society around him. He wants to make this society better for the next generation, and he plans to use Sukuna's vessel to do it. Until he dies. Look at this dude. Dies over. So that was a fucking lie. Enter Shanks, the pirate so chill he could stop a war with a single offer of booze. His philosophy? If you can talk it out over a drink, why throw punches? Meanwhile, Gojo operates on the might is right policy, except when he's bending the rules so hard that they break, proving that in this world, the only thing black and white is his hair and his clothes, but that's only if you aren't caught in his domain. But don't be fooled, behind every laid back gesture of Shanks and every smug smirk of Gojo lies a deep philosophical debate. Can you change the world without resorting to violence? Or is being over the top strong the only way to ensure peace? It's like choosing between meditating and bench pressing your way out of life's problems. Shanks wields hockey like a conductor leads an orchestra, effortlessly and with flair, making his enemies faint from sheer awe. Gojo, on the other hand, throws around his limitless curse techniques like free samples at a grocery store. His power isn't just off the charts, it's rewriting the chart to fit his level. In the grand tally of power moves, Shanks prefers the less is monstrously more approach, turning the tide of battles with a mere glance. Gojo's strategy, however? Why use a glance when you can alter reality, making villains question their life choices and career paths? Look at Jogo! Look at what he did to that man. Oh my god. The impact of Shanks can be measured in the number of pirates who have chosen to sing sea shanties instead of starting brawls. That's not entirely accurate, but you get what I mean. As for Gojo, let's just say he's the reason why there's a spike in sorcery school applications, despite the curriculum featuring a one-on-one- -on -one Damn, how did I fuck that up? As for Gojo, let's just say he's the reason why there's a spike in sorcery school applications, despite the curriculum featuring a 101 on how not to get killed by curses, or your teacher. In essence, Shanks and Gojo don't just walk a line between heroism and being a villain, they moonwalk it, all while making moral complexity look as easy as pie. Dangerous, life-threatening pie. Shanks and Gojo are both formidable characters who wield immense power, yet their true strength lies in their shared goal of shaping a better future for the next generation. Shanks, a charismatic pirate, uses his influence to foster peace and believes strongly in the potential of young pirates to bring about positive changes without resorting to needless violence. Similarly, Gojo, the strongest jujutsu sorcerer, aims to reform the conservative jujutsu world by mentoring young sorcerers to think differently and embrace more progressive values. Both characters are not just fighters, but educators in their own right, using their power to protect and to pave the way for a future where their protégés can thrive under new paradigms they have helped establish. Their methods may differ, but the essence of their actions is the same, to mentor and inspire a new era, marked by improved understanding and innovation in their respective worlds. The methodologies employed by Shanks and Gojo in pursuing their goals highlight their leadership styles and the impact of their personal philosophies. Shanks leverages his reputation and power to forge alliances and mitigate conflicts, often using himself as a paragon of peace. His intervention in critical battles and strategic withdrawal from direct conflicts are significant, as they both demonstrate and promote a form of strength that is non-aggressive yet impactful. 
Gojo's method, while more direct, also focuses on empowerment through education. He exposes his students to harsh realities early in their training, preparing them to navigate and eventually reform the Jujutsu world. His approach is hands-on and often personal, reflecting his belief in the potential of each student. This personal investment in their development is crucial for the societal changes he wishes to instigate. The legacies of Shanks and Gojo are shaped by their actions and the lives they touch. Shanks' influence on Luffy and the new generation of pirates alters the trajectory of their lives, steering them towards a future where dreams are pursued with integrity and respect for others. Similarly, Gojo's influence on his students and the broader Jujutsu society challenges traditional norms and paves the way for systemic change. At the end of the day, whether you're sailing the high seas with a red-haired pirate or dodging spectral threats in Tokyo, it's clear, Shanks and Gojo aren't just shaping their worlds. They're crafting a legacy of fan-made memes, dreams, and the kind of moral quandaries that keep you up at night laughing. So who's your pick for the ultimate influencer of good vibes and tough love? Is it the man with the plan and a drink in his hand, or the teacher with the power to make even the Grim Reaper hesitate? Drop your vote in the comments, hit that like as if it's the last piece of meat at the Pirate's Feast, and subscribe for more epic tales of strength, wisdom, and occasional existential crises because in anime, every day is a lesson in surviving the impossible with a smile.